There are no little guys. Just idols and tools of the system. When they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Ah! Ah! Yeah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Jesus Christ. Yup, never works. Yeah! <laughs> never works. That thing never works. Complete challenges earn perks. Challenges. <laughs> Is that a challenge that I completed? Is that a challenge? Can you wait? Do I even get? Yup. I'm okay. <laughs> Bullshit is. What is happening? <laughs> hey, what the fuck? Fuck, please. <laughs> At least I don't understand what's happening. Is this him in the ground? Wow. Hello, beta testers. <laughs> With Redfall reviewing lower than Saints Row Reboot, we're forced to ask the question, does it deserve that? Comment why or why not below, but if you agree with what I'm saying, like the video. Saints Row and Redfall share three very important things that separate it from other buggy and broken releases. Number one, they are unfinished and untested. Let's say that even though many games release buggy and in need of patching, they are rarely crippled in ways that hinder most people from being able to progress. Some bugs are often invisible to players and are resolved before they even notice that they are there, but not in games like Redfall and Saints Row where every minute or so there's something visibly not working properly. Disconnects, menu glitches, bugged weapons, stuck or invisible NPCs, enemies, or players causing impossible to complete objectives, necessary restarts, clipping through the map, and other easy to trigger bugs make it abundantly clear that these were issues the development was clearly aware of but didn't tier high enough a priority to see it fixed before it was kicked out the door for launch and they're passing the savings on to you. Number two on the list of things that Redfall and Saints Row Reboot share is that neither of these titles will ever be good. Even if they weren't compromised by stuttering, bugs, glitches, objectively, they're forgettable products that honestly miss their target so hard that they exist now as examples on how not to do something. Just like Crystal Dynamics Marvel's Avengers game does. So since y'all want to kick games out the door before they're ready, games objectively not worth the 60 to $70 asking price, we might as well hacky sack them all right into the bargain bin where it belongs before it hits the ground. It's dirty enough. Phil Spencer himself said, another delay would not have saved Redfall, just as another delay would not have saved Saints Row Reboot. The problem was the team. And if there was talent on the team, they were either so unenthusiastic that they weren't willing to waste their legendary talent on so stupid a project, or they may have been restricted for reasons that I'm going to get into with number three. But if I may be so blunt, 
The performance of both of these titles is so shockingly bad, in my opinion, that it betrays a perplexing lack of familiarity with an engine that y'all chose. In Redfall's case, you used Unreal Engine 4, the same engine that Fortnite's been flexing in for half a decade, in lobbies with a hundred players connected across a gigantic fucking map, Spider-Man swinging, motorcycle riding, UFOs, helicopters, planes, tanks, mechs, huh, man. Fortnite's epic succeeds because they possess what Redfall's Arcane and Saints Row's Volition lack, an understanding of their audience. They're not fighting them, they're meeting them on their terms. They like furry skins, they like TikTok cringe, check out the shop. The experience is free, you can pay this if you want. But, number three. Saints Row and Redfall are woke. We're always punching up. We want to be absurdist, we don't want to be mean. Nowadays, we want to laugh with everybody, not at people. You know, it's it's basically, you can be funny and still be decent. Wow, some, dude. Some things we did did not age well, and we're not doing that. What the fuck? A bonus. Actual fuck. What the actual goddamn fuck? Yeah, Never goddamn uh, motherfucking goddamn fuck. Uh, crap, crap, crap. crap the live music. Goddamn fucking shit. Crap, there might be some music right now. Bitch, ass, I don't know. Probably is. Swipe, crap, 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 and crap. Please don't be too harsh in the comments. You stupid bastard. Please don't be too harsh in the comments. But most importantly, their products are not high enough quality to offset <laughs> how woke they are. What's wrong with you? And to put that in terms that I hope are very easy to understand as a layman, you need two people on a seesaw, otherwise you're just millhouse. Arcane, Volition, you are the millhouse of game studios. You're the Mortal Kombat, but you're covering up all the women. You're a sports game, but you won't let people use balls. When you're afraid to offend, you cannot appeal. No artist should be restricting themselves. And as Saints Row made abundantly clear before it came out, as if to chastise the people who liked what Saints Row was before, as you cling to the name that you so desperately need, otherwise nobody would give you the attention, and, and you proved that you weren't worthy or worth that attention, here we are. Pretension aside, the dated messages and non-observations these hack writers serve up as if they're revolutionary outlooks <laughs> when they bring the momentum of what should be entertainment to a screeching halt is devastating to see that much of the music selected for saints row was dirt cheap less than a hundred view garbage that it wasn't like only some people had heard of this nobody had heard this shit Maybe you saw me disgusted on Twitter recognizing shills with developer buddies constantly defending, trying to make it seem like it's only one issue that they have a problem with. Nah, 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 homie, it ain't like that. Likening all criticism to hate. This dogpiling like very quickly goes into personal insults and death threats and lots of other th terrible things. So Redfall was at 40 frames a second and I didn't enjoy it versus these developers deserve to die it's because we should give those trolls the the you're feeding trolls nigga yeah it's your first day on the internet saints row community manager deadly stuff told players to quote die mad and quote haters gonna hate she was calling people giving honest reviews terrorists and now they work under the whip of Randy Pitchford at Gearbox. What that shit smell like? A Redfall developer is claiming her industry peers are mocking her, when I believe the reality is more that the product is being mocked. This ain't personal. This ain't about somebody, it's about something. Boy, does Redfall deserve to be mocked. What, what ass you got your head up, you can't fucking, you know, the Kyle channel does not condone anybody reaching out and contacting, communicating, engaging, or interacting with anybody, obviously, man. I ain't sending nobody nowhere, I don't want you to do that. But if the Redfall development team is already moving on, what you confused about? <laughs> In fact, this person ended their tweet with locked comments to say that that's, that's specifically the only thing that bothers them, making it abundantly clear they don't care about the shit state of the game, homie. You could just deal with that, you know what I'm saying? So here's my point. 
Saints Row is so bad a game that I remember when I first downloaded it, I could injure myself by opening a car door. Remember that on stream? I'll say it again. Opening a car door in Saints Row had the ability to harm you as a player. Now, even though I recognize there are likely people at that studio challenged enough to have difficulty opening their own car door without injuring themselves, that's not exactly what most of us are looking for in a video game. As terrible as that sounds, do I consider Redfall worse? Yes. Believe it or not, I like to believe that a larger percentage of the Volition team was well aware of the garbage they were kicking out the door than the delusional Arcane team, who we are seeing just, you know, uh, do your eyes work? You know what I'm saying? And we, unfortunately, are recognizing that the best we can do is what? Just go, you know, oh, okay, you know, y'all had that, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you're going to try to convince us we're the hostile ones here when, you know, you, hey, you, you can't convince us water's dry. I'm sorry. Water wet. Is that the video? Dia, please put a bow on this. Come on. Improv. Come on, Dia. I'll see you out in the playground. I'll see y'all. <laughs> yeah, you better not catch her on that sandbox, boy.